All right, Scorpio, someone is awkward and someone wants to talk to you, but they're having a hard time. Their throat chakra might be blocked. I'm channeling that because I keep having to pause and restart my videos and I'm all just stuttering and I'm like, that's the strange energy. So I wanted to put that out there really quickly. The video I did about a month ago, I was getting that there was someone that used you for sex or for money or there was some sort of energy where they, it was just like very one-sided, like they were, they were using you for something. And the energy I got a couple weeks ago when I did your video was different. I think this is someone new or someone from your past that's coming back around. It's not the same person. These were two different people that I channeled. So same story, same energy group, but just a different person that you know. And I got that the timing was wrong for you guys in the past, you know, that they weren't necessarily a bad person, but that there was just something off in the past. Maybe they were taken, you were taken, um, something going on there. But I feel like it's the right time for you now, and I feel like they're wanting to come in. It might be a little awkward. Maybe a lot of time has gone by. Uh, let's see what the cards have to say. So again, two different energies. The one I got a month ago was someone who was toxic, and they did use you. And um, I think your guides are cutting that out, though. And I think that you don't even want that back anymore. But the energy I got a couple weeks ago was someone different, which was someone that's, you know, is good for you. Someone that just, it was just the wrong timing or the wrong circumstances. But your guides are trying to bring that back, to, back around now. So let's see what's going on. Past life connection, soul contract, clubs. Could be someone you met at like a club, party, social event, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> mutual feelings, emotional depth. Um, someone you met at like through friends or like at a party or a club. Probably a soulmate that you have a past life connection with. They were a little cold, guarded, distrusting. I feel like the reason they were cold is because they weren't expecting that kind of connection. I feel like it kind of, this kind of caught them off guard, this, these mutual feelings, like they were open to it to some degree, but they were also a little bit guarded because they just didn't understand why they felt this way about you when they had just met you. It was something that moved really, I feel like this moved really quickly, whatever it was, like this person got attached to you really quickly. I don't know if they actually verbalized this. It might have just been something in their head, like they might not have actually come right out and, and said it, but they might have found themselves falling in love with you in like a period of like a week, two weeks, and they might have, you know, kind of thought they were going crazy. Like, why do I feel this, this connection with someone that I just met? Um, why do I feel so strongly? And it's like, well, the past life connection, that's why it's a soulmate. It's someone you might have a soul contract with too. And that's the, that's the thing about like love at first sight is that it's not really at first sight. When you experience love at first sight, more often than not, I feel like it's because I feel like it's, it's because you've known that person before in your past lives. And so you have what's called soul recognition where you guys just remember each other. You just feel familiar to each other. You feel that feels like your home, you're their home. It's like that those emotions come up really quickly. You feel like you've known them forever, even if you've only known them a week. And I feel like this person felt that way about you, but I don't, I don't, not so sure that they told you that. Cause I think that they felt, I think they came off kind of cold and guarded and distrusting, maybe even a little uninterested. Cause I think that this freaked them out. They're like, why do I feel, why am I getting so clingy? Why am I getting, why am I feeling so attached to someone I just met? Like they didn't understand it. Yeah, and they have this nostalgia and longing for you. Shyness, also shyness, fear of... <coughs> oh my god, there's like a throat chakra block or something going on with you guys. Maybe with maybe not with you, maybe with your person. Oh gosh. Shyness, fear of rejection. They're wanting to talk to you, they just... Sorry. They're wanting to talk to you. Um... They just maybe a long time has gone by. Maybe they felt really serious about you, but you guys didn't know each other that well. So maybe they feel a little crazy hitting you up like months or even years later. For some, some of you it could be years. Could be you had this person years ago, and like it was just like that kind of like love at first sight connection that you guys felt with each other. And maybe they don't know if it was mutual, and so maybe they feel like a little bit crazy, like hitting you up after all this time, like. Not sure what you would say about it. Like, not sure if you'd still 
you know, they don't want to weird you out. They don't want to be creepy or weird or make you uncomfortable. So it's like they're not sure what to say to you. Uh, they're having dreams about you, visions, telepathic communication. Could be that your guides maybe just decided that, like, this could be a potential life partner for you and just kind of, you know, drew this in. I think for some of you that would make sense. That would make sense. Because it's, it's almost like, like, well, I guess it makes sense. Like, maybe they always were a life partner, but it was just the wrong timing. And it's like now that it's the right timing, it's like they're starting to have dreams about you or starting to feel your energy or starting to think about you out of nowhere. And they're like kind of confused. Like, why do I miss it? Why do I miss this person when I haven't talked to them in months or years? Like, why are they on my mind? Why, why do I feel this strong connection with someone that I barely know? It doesn't make sense. And they're trying to be strong and confident. But the truth is they feel vulnerable. They feel open with you. They feel they're receptive to this connection. They just don't understand I don't think this person like understands the concept of soulmates and twin flames the way that you do. So I think that you probably know, even if this is someone that you met years ago, I feel like, and this could be someone like that you met at like a bar or something or like a club or a party or like through friends. Cause we had, we had clubs, parties, social life right here. We see this woman dancing with a cigarette in her hand. Um, but I mean, even if it was years ago, I think that you still had that sense. Like you still kind of, you understand the concept of twin flames and soulmates and soul recognition and like that love at first sight kind of thing. But like someone who doesn't understand that energy is just going to think like they're going to try to rationalize it and think, you know, why was I so clingy? Why was I so attached to this person that I just met? Like they almost feel like they're mentally unstable. Like they don't understand <laughs> They almost like, some of them are telling themselves that they need counseling, which it sounds ridiculous, but some of them are actually like rationalizing it to that degree where they're like, okay, there's like, if I get that attached to a stranger after a week or two, and like, if I am having dreams about this person that I haven't seen in months or haven't seen in years, like, and I feel like reaching out to this person, to you, to this person that they haven't seen in a long time, they're like, I must be unstable. I must be clingy or insecure or, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to rationalize it. They're like, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm feeling lonely lately. Maybe that's why I'm having dreams and missing this person. Like, because they don't, it doesn't make sense to them. They're like, why would I feel this way about someone that I barely know? But, but again, it's like, you understand that it's it's not like you barely know each other. You guys have had past lives together. This is a soulmate. This is someone you experienced that soul recognition when you guys met. And that's why things move so quickly. That's why it just felt so natural to you guys. That's why it just felt like coming home. Because it's like you've had those past lives together. That's why you're so nostalgic for each other. You know, that's why you keep waiting for each other. Keep hoping. Keep praying. And I think that they had a lot of things in their life they needed to get organized, and so did you. And now it's it seems like it's the right timing now, finally. Which is why your guides are giving them these dreams and these visions. And, like, they might have gone, like, months or even, like, a year, two years, however long. For, for some of you, this has been years since you met this person. And it's like you're just suddenly coming into their energy field. Like, they just had, like, a dream about you, and now they're thinking about you all the time. And they're, like feeling your energy and they're like wondering how you're doing are you with someone what's going what's new in your life some of them might not know how to contact that you actually I just got that message I don't want to send you guys on a crazy goose chase but I feel like for a couple of you you might have met this person like years ago and so maybe like they, you have a different phone number now or they have a different phone number now or like they don't know your Facebook or your social media or some kind of energy where it's like maybe they, they maybe they don't know how to call some of you only for a couple of you. They might not actually know how to find you like they might. It's kind of like that movie Serendipity. Did you ever see that movie where it's like it's that it's that story. Watch that movie. If this is your reading, watch the movie Serendipity. If you like sweet, cute, romantic movies, watch Serendipity. Oh, my God. It's such a cute movie. It's uh, Kate Beckinsale and John Cusack, I believe. And it's basically like they, they meet and 
this is this is your story this is it's like the same it's pretty much it's you'll, you'll notice the synchronicity if you watch that movie it's amazing but it's like they meet and why can't I talk you see this this is like what you do to the person I, I feel like they feel off like there's something like a throat chakra block or like an awkwardness or like they don't know how to find you but okay anyway <laughs> serendipity like, they meet and they, they just fall in love. Like, they only go on, I think, like, one date. But I think he's... God, what was the story? It's been so long since I've seen that movie. I think that he was, like, getting engaged or there's, like, some reason. Like, she didn't trust it because it was so soon. And she was like, well, why would I feel like that so soon about someone? Like, all the synchronicity was there, but they didn't. she didn't trust it. So she left her phone number in a book for him. She took a book and she wrote it. She wrote her phone number down and she, she gives the, the book to a bookstore and she's like, you know, if you find this and that means we're meant to be together. And it's like, it's it, like she, she regrets not giving, they regret not giving each, like exchanging information. Cause years later, like she's engaged, he's engaged and they both have this epiphany where they're like, oh my God, that was like my person, my true love. And they both go on this chase trying to find each other. And they're like, just always, you know, like he goes to the golf course and then she goes there like an hour later and like, they just missed each other. And it's like at the end of the movie, they finally reunite. Um, and he actually finds the book finally, like years later, but it's like that story where it's like years or months down the road, they just have this epiphany, like, holy shit, that was my person. Like that was the person that was right for me. I have to go find them now. And it's really exciting, but it's frustrating because some of them don't know how to find you. Some of them don't, some of them you, you met so long ago that they really, they don't know how to find you. They don't know your, your, your phone number. They don't know how to find you on social media or they only have your first name. And it's like, you guys are both having, like either you're having it or they're having it. Someone's maybe, or both of you are having this epiphany, like, oh shit, that person that I barely knew that seemed like a stranger to me was my person. Like, Like, I need to go find them. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's romantic. It's really sweet. Watch that movie if you haven't. I love that movie. Tell me what you guys think if you go watch it. <laughs> Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah. It's really good energy here. So there's still that fear, that hesitation, those mixed feelings. Because they're like, Am I crazy for wanting this with a stranger? But again, the past life thing, you guys have been together in your past lives. You have a very deep soulmate connection here, possibly a twin flame connection for some of you. Um, and so it's like, it's not crazy. And the thing is, they feel crazy, though, because they don't understand all this stuff. Like they can't, you know what I mean? So they're trying to rationalize it. But they are having these epiphanies. They are seeing you in their dreams. They are seeing the synchronicities. They are being led to you. And they're like... Well, what do I do? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do I say? Like, if they do have your contact information, they're like, well, what am I supposed to say? It's been months. It's been years. Am I really just going to message this person out of the blue and be like, hey, how's life? Like, they, they don't want to be awkward. They don't want to be a creeper. <laughs> but they want adventure, a honeymoon vacation with you. They came out of a situation that was toxic, maybe a karmic situation. Could be why it was the wrong timing before. But they're out of that now. They want you to know. They're getting out of that. They have this new perspective. Listening. Understanding. Um, true love just flowing to you now. You know. And they're kind of sad and confused. Because they're like. They're like. What? You know. <laughs> they're like so attached to you. And they're like. But I don't know her. I don't know him. Or I don't know how to find them. <laughs> so. If you know who this person is. And like you have their. Because. Oh God. I don't want to like mislead you. And have you guys like embarrass yourselves. But, like, think about who this might be. If this is your reading, and you'll resonate with it. If, it, if, it's, if this is your reading, you should be resonating with it. But think about who this might be and think about, like, is it possible that they lost your number or is it possible that they... Did you change your phone number and forget to text them and let them know that you changed your phone number? Or, like, do they not have you on social media or do they not have your last name? Like... 
Because if you know who this is, you might want to reach out to them. If you know for sure, because I don't want to mislead you. Like I'm not, if you text the wrong person and it doesn't go well, I am not responsible for that. I'm not responsible for anything that you do or do not do as a result of this reading. Full disclaimer, your life is your own. You make your own choices. But me personally, if I were in this energy and I knew who this was and I knew that there was a chance that this person wanted to contact me, but that they didn't have my contact info or they didn't have me on Facebook, but maybe I knew their Facebook or I knew their, their phone number, I would contact them and I would say something. That doesn't mean pouring your heart out, but say, hey, how's it, you know, hey, how's it, how's it going? That's not too, that's not going to embarrass you, right? Say, how's life been? Or even, even pretend, maybe, maybe pretend like, oh, hey, this, this phone number was in my phone or something like who is like you know what I mean like you can play it off if you need to if, if, it ne if you want to save yourself the embarrassment but but if you know who this is this is this is true love here so I would go for it I would go for it apology regret you know they regret holding on to they were they wish it had been the right time when they met you but it just wasn't the right time they were confused and prideful and stubborn and kind of guarded because they didn't understand this connection. They didn't understand why they were feeling this way. And now, though, now they feel open to it. Now they're submissive to this connection. Now they're choosing a path, and I think that path is you, but they still feel kind of lost, not knowing how to find you, but they want to go home. They're on a journey home, and that, that home is with you, and they know that. So anyway, I hope this resonates. If you'd like a private reading, I can look more in depth into this situation and maybe tell you, give you a, a clearer idea of who this person is. Um, my email address is below and uh, subscribe, share, like um, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up. My PayPal link is right below. All you got to do is just click. You just put the amount on there and it's just, it's 10 seconds. And I appreciate it so much. Just like I said, every little dollar adds up. There's no donation that's too small. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching.